Hello. Today we're going to talk about simple future tense in English. Let's get started. In English, future time is expressed in a number of ways. The most common are with will and be going to. For example, I will finish my homework in an hour. I'm going to finish my homework in an hour. Grammatically, will is always followed by the base form of the verb. For example, will plus verb or contracted ul plus verb. For example, who will win? We will win. No, they'll win. With be going to, make sure the verb be agrees with its subject. Be can be, am, is, or are, depending on the subject. Contracted, it's m, is, or er. For example, I'm going to eat a whole watermelon. She's going to eat a whole watermelon. Actually, we're going to eat a whole watermelon together. In speech, the words going to are often pronounced gonna. Don't forget the be verb. For example, what are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to stay home and clean my carpet. Not I going to stay. Don't forget the be verb here. I'm going to stay. Also, do not say I'm going to to stay. That is incorrect. What's the difference between will and be going to? We'll talk about predictions, guesses, strong intentions, the inevitable, invitations, and pop decisions. With predictions and guesses, both will and be going to can be used in most cases. For example, my package will arrive tomorrow. My package is going to arrive tomorrow. I predict or guess that my package will arrive tomorrow. These are about the same. The phrase be going to is a little bit more certain in this case. Of course, we can't always predict what's going to happen in the future with 100% certainty. Be going to is preferable for strong intentions and plans. For example, I'm going to tell her what I think. We're going to get married. Be going to is also preferable for describing the inevitable. That means you can't stop it from happening. For example, watch out, it's going to fall. Or, he's going to break the bank. Will is preferable for invitations, some invitations. For example, will you go to the prom with me? Yes, I will. I would love to. Sometimes would is more appropriate in these situations. But that's the topic of another video. See the link below. Will can also be used in pop decisions. For example, there's one cookie left. I'll take it. No, you won't. I will. Won't means will not. Sometimes future time can be expressed with either present or present progressive tense. In such cases, time words must be expressed or clearly implied. For example, I fly to Beijing tomorrow. I'm flying to Beijing tomorrow. Notice the word tomorrow clearly puts it in the future time, although the verbs are in present and present progressive. Another example, sorry, I can't attend the picnic on Friday. I'm flying to Beijing. It's clear that you're flying to Beijing on Friday, which is in the future. Hope that was helpful.
Now you know how to use these expressions correctly. Remember to practice. That's all for today on Say It Right in English. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click on the links below youtube.com at English Free For You and eslgold.com slash h-u-m-i-x. See you in the next video.